A Hampton mother will spend 55 years behind bars for the death of her two-year-old son. Julia Tomlin pleaded guilty to the murder of Noah Tomlin. Police found the boy's body at the Hampton Steam plant back in 2019. Tunnel Neuroscience Amy Avery was in court today when Tomlin learned her sentence and joins us now live outside the courthouse. Hey, Regina, we just got out of the courtroom about a half hour ago where Julia Tomlin sat in the courtroom and shed tears as she learned that she was given the maximum sentence today for the death of her two year old son, Noah. She was given 40 years for second degree murder, five for concealment and 10 for abuse and neglect. Now, prosecutors say this is a case that gripped the community because of the way Noah was found. His body was put in a Pampers box inside a trash bag, then dumped at the Hampton steam plant. The medical examiner testified, saying this is a case she remembers all too well, even though she examined Noah's body in the summer of 2019. She says Noah suffered a severe skull fracture that's consistent of falling multiple stories or being grabbed by the legs and being swung against a wall. She said these are injuries not sustained with normal childhood trauma. She also said the body had prior trauma. She said Noah suffered a jaw fracture and several broken ribs, but she does not believe that is from the time of his death. She believes that's from a prior incident. Commonwealth's attorney Anton Bell says death was a welcome friend for Noah because of the torture he endured in his short life. Well, absolutely, it's heart wrenching that he had to die and it's heart wrenching that he had to suffer the way he did. But at the end of the day, Death was a welcome friend because this kid had went through the worst of the worst. Now, Tomlin's attorney did not wish to comment to the media, and Tomlin also did not make a statement in front of the court today. Her daughter, though, her 19-year-old daughter, testified about what Tomlin was like as a mother before her grandparents took custody at the age of six. We'll have more on her testimony coming up tonight at 5. Live in Hampton, Amy Avery, 10 on your side.